is hello 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 hey guys my name is Sophie and I'm filming on fashion lifestyle and entertainment from Lagos Nigeria if you are just joining us on this channel you're welcome please don't forget to subscribe like and share my content my other subscribers and you tell me you know how they be so guys if you see the topic of this video you already know what I'm going to talk about and if you are not below three years old even children that are below three years old are already aware I'm sure by now you must have known what coronavirus is. You must have heard about coronavirus and how much is how fast it's spreading in this country and even beyond this country. So if you are watching from outside Nigeria, you know. So guys, this is just my own way of creating an awareness for coronavirus, how you can stay off with the symptoms and what you can do once you start seeing symptoms. Guys, may, let me make you understand that coronavirus is a respiratory organ infection. Should I call it infection? Yeah. Yeah, just to the English. I don't know, <laughs> infection is what I'm going to call it. So one of the symptoms of coronavirus is cough. Yes, cough. Cough, sneezing, difficulty in breathing, sore throats, fever, and headache. So if you notice any of this, please feel free to walk into any hospital to make your complaints known. And if possible, if you cannot go to an hospital, just self-isolate for a period of time. If it's getting worse, please make sure there are so many call lines ncdc call lines please make sure you call ncdc and tell them how you feel what the situation is before you call before you invent, infect another person now how can we prevent coronavirus number one most of the most of the prominent ways of contacting coronavirus is through your hands and your face so make sure you keep your hands to yourself make sure your hands are protected a whole lot of time make sure you don't touch things that are not that are exposed to anything like tables in public, public the rails of public buses, public rails of overhead bridges, touching and then just keep make sure you like keep your hands clean. And if you touch anything that you feel like might, might have been exposed, handles of doors, toilets and all of that, toilets and all of that, make sure that you wash your hands with soap and water for at least a minute. Please. If you think a minute is too long, just sing happy birthday two times. Voila, you're done. Wash your hands with soap and water. Wash it thoroughly. Wash your nails. Wash. In fact, wash. Me, I always overdo. I always wash it all to this place. I always wash it all to this place. What make sure you wash your hands? And now, after washing it, dry it and use hand sanitizer, alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Emphasis on alcohol. Alcohol-based hand sanitizer to clean your hands thoroughly. And then avoid touching your face with your hands. So exposed hands. Yes, if you are someone like me that you can you find it hard to get your hands off your face. If your prominent hand is your left hand, touch every other thing with your left. If your prominent hand, sorry, is your right hand, you can touch anything with your left hand. So that when, when you touch your face, it's easier for you to use this hand that is safe. That does not mean that you not wash this hand or sanitize that sanitize both hands. But you know that when you are touching your face and you know that you use your right hand most likely, just use your left hand to open doors, to touch toilets, to touch railings and all of that. So when you are touching your face, the default thing that you yeah, will do is use your right hand that is less exposed to touch your face. And please say, uh, that does not mean that you, should, you can be touching your face with your right hand. Make sure that you can, your hand can be exposed through just even by eating somebody with your hand. So make sure that you keep both hands safe. For yourself number two avoid crowded places avoid large gathering at least for a period of time avoid places that are crowd of more than 20. yes if you can work from if you can work remotely please do work remotely work from home if you can avoid church for now I, I, i'm aware that most churches are shut down for now even most months even offices too are shutting down for now so you can avoid large gatherings so i so let's stay in your house day your day if you do your house, you no know, go touch anybody. We don't get coronavirus. She in an AM in an AM time they talk. So, then your house self isolate, avoid crowded places. Number three, always have a hand sanitizer in your bag. I have a small sanitizer in my handbag that I carry everywhere. If I'm going somewhere without my handbag, I put it inside my pocket. So always have a hand sanitizer. So in case you touch anything and you wash your hands, you can easily sanitize your hands immediately. Number four, again, wash your hands frequently. So that this point is coming for the second time, wash your hands frequently. Yes, and if you feel sick, like I said earlier, please feel free to call for help. Calling for help doesn't mean that you call your family members, I'm sick, come and stay with me. No, self isolate and call health workers for help. Tell them how you feel, tell them what the problem is. And if you feel like you've been exposed to um, coronavirus, maybe you know you know somebody that just came back, like, traveled out and just came back, and you don't, you're not sure, please wait for a check. 
please. Anybody that comes into Nigeria right now and you are, if you have a contact with them, please go for a jelly. You might have been exposed. They might not even know. They, you might not even be showing any symptoms yet. But before you start showing the symptoms, just go for them so I can get the right uh, and the right medications needed. Number three, don't when, when you want to sneeze, in case you are sneezing, you might not have the symptoms or don't ask me that if you sneeze, you have coronavirus or if you cough, you have coronavirus. But if you want to sneeze, don't sneeze into your pants. Sneeze into your elbow like this. Or you also find an that you're not using to clean your face and sneeze into it. Do you guys understand? Because sneezing into your hands means that you're exposing your hands also. Imagine sneeze into your action and then immediately, oh, bless my soul. Ah, sister. Brother, you are close and you to your love. Please, and <laughs> cover your mouth while sneezing, but don't cover with your palms. You can use your elbow, you can sneeze, you can sneeze the way they are alone there. You can sneeze, you can use an handkerchief or a face to wall, just sneeze into it. A jaw, and then please self isolation. Whatever it is that you think you are going to need for this self isolation process, please ensure that you get it. I know that people are already buying a whole lot of things going out to. Do shopping, um, what do they call it? August shopping just to be safe, please. And most importantly, the final, final point don't panic. There's something they say that panic even kills faster than the disease. Than the disease. Don't panic. If, if you have any of these symptoms that I said earlier, call for help. Coronavirus is not the end of life, in fact, it's not as deadly as HIV. So please say, fine, it can be very, very serious and. Of course, we have, we have dead cases, so it doesn't mean that it's not deadly, it is deadly. But that still doesn't mean that you should panic. Don't panic. Don't die before death comes, like my Yoruba people say, Marco Kikuto Ode. Don't panic. Like, I, I can't say this more than you. Don't panic. I've seen people that say, oh, coronavirus is illegal, blah, 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 blah. Hey, Jesus Christ, a lot of that. Don't panic. I don't want to emphasize on panic more, but don't panic. Don't give yourself a potential. Before coronavirus comes, you don't die of a potential. You want to kill yourself. Do you? So this is my own little way of contributing to the social quota. To my, my own, this is my own little way of contributing to my own social quota to coronavirus awareness. Please be aware, please be informed, please tell your parents, your older, your um, elderly people. I learned that they said that youths of our age, 20s and 30s, and are, are less prone to coronavirus. That does not mean that you should expose yourself. So please tell your elderly ones that are not aware about this. I don't know. I entered the bus last week and the driver was like, Corona kidney, what is Corona? Corona was hey, 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 that was more deadly. So most people are ignorant about this thing. So please tell people around you, inform people around you about this virus so that if you can contact this thing for money. Imagine the driver that is saying that what is coronavirus and he already touched somebody and then he touched money with that same man and then he gives you that money and you did not wash your hands, just use just collect the money, put it in your bag and you just carry that hand and what and wipe on your face. No button. So please ensure that you educate a lot of people around you, create an awareness for people around you, tell people around you, tell the elderly ones, even the young ones, I have told my baby sister, tell the young ones, they should be very, very self aware, they should wash their hands and sanitize their hands properly. That's it for this um, episode, it's not an episode, this is just, I don't know if you share that video. So that's it guys, please if you don't subscribe to my channel, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that when I post a video, you'll be among the first of people to know, yes, and please like and share my content invite your family and friends to like and share this content i mean you know as it may be go to my gallery if you're a new subscriber go through my videos and let me know the one the ones you love best let's talk in the comment section that's it guys bye